So four new Galaxy S25 details have just dropped and one has me scratching my head. Good news or a hidden cost? What's up guys, Sal here. So first up, the cameras. Galaxy Club says the S25 will stick with the same main and front cameras as last year. A 50 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel front camera. This goes for both the S25 and S25 Plus. This might be a bit disappointing for those hoping for a significant camera upgrade. But there's a silver lining though. The information doesn't mention the telephoto and ultra wide cameras. Here's where things get interesting. Rumors suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might receive a bump in both its telephoto and ultra wide sensors, potentially pushing them to 50 megapixel each while retaining its 200 megapixel main camera. This raises a question. Could similar upgrades be in store for the regular S25 lineups, telephoto and ultrawide cameras? Only time will tell. Now for the good news. Renowned analyst Ming-Chi Kuo suggests a major shift. Samsung might ditch Exynos chips altogether for the Galaxy S25 lineup. That's right, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could be the sole chip powering all S25 variants regardless of region. So why the sudden change? Apparently the culprit is a familiar foe in the tech world yield issues. Samsung's next-gen Exynos chip, the Exynos 2500, seems to be facing lower than expected yields on the 3 nanometer fabrication process. This means they're having trouble getting enough functioning chips out of production. This potential Snapdragon takeover is exciting. Historically, Qualcomm chips have generally demonstrated better performance, efficiency, and thermal management compared to their Exynos counterpart. So from a pure performance standpoint, this could be a win for the S25. However, there is a potential catch. Kuo also suggests the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could be significantly more expensive than its predecessors with whispers of a 25-30% to price increase. This could force Samsung to raise prices for the S25, S25 Plus and even the Ultra. We've already seen a price bump with the S24 Ultra. If the Snapdragon rumor holds true, an additional $100 price hike across the board for the S25 and S25 Plus seems likely. And will the S25 Ultra see another price increase? Let's hope not, as that would push it towards the territory of foldable phones, potentially reaching a staggering $1400 price tag. Moving on to battery life, Galaxy Club reports that the standard S25 might retain the same 4000 mAh capacity as its predecessor. Similar rumors suggest the S25 Ultra might follow suit with a 5000 mAh battery mirroring the S24 Ultra. While the lack of a capacity increase might be a bit disappointing, there is an interesting twist. Rumors suggest Samsung might utilize its Galaxy AI technology to enhance battery life on the S25 lineup by a staggering 10%. If they can pull this off, a 10% improvement through software optimization, it would be a game changer. But this sounds like an incredible software fix, it's also a bit too good to be true at this point, so we'll have to wait and see if this rumor holds any merit. The Galaxy S25 will launch with One UI 7 and Android 15. For those curious about the potential changes and features it might bring, here's a video of 12 major upgrades you can expect. Click right here and I'll see you there.